I can't believe this still has to be said. It's going on nions now. People should know. Autism does not go away at 18. People with autism just grow up, turn into adults with autism. It's not going to change. It's not going to go away. And I am fed up with people trying to convince me of these ridiculous vitamins and prayers and everything else that it that will make it go away. I mean, I believe in the power of prayer. But I also believe in the fact that one, I was born with autism. Two, it's not going to go away. And three, it's okay to have it. Why do people act like they're such a shame? Why do people act like it's not something that they, that they can be out with? It's okay to have it. It's okay to say, yes, I have autism. No, it's not going to go away. It's okay to sit there and do that. People who judge you based on your disability are not people that you really want to associate with, really. Because if they're just going to sit there and be like, oh, no, you're autistic, you can't do this, you're autistic, you can't do that, then you really need to just tell them to do one and tell them that they're wrong because... It isn't right to just one like that. And because, well, they are wrong. I mean, yes, therapist people and counsellor people and all the grown up, grown up professional people are there to do a job and there to help you. But if they're just going to continue to be negative and say that you can't do something because you're autistic or you'll never do something because you're autistic, then or they say that to your parents, then you need to prove them wrong. You also really, really, really need to tell them to get a grip and tell them that they are wrong and that they will watch you fly and soar and your autism won't hold you back. It'll make things difficult and it'll probably mean you need some adjustments and IEPs and ECHP thingies throughout school and college and whatever else you choose to do. But it doesn't mean you can't do something. I mean, I sat through school for years before my diagnosis and proved I'm wrong. So did my brother just just meant we have to do things in a different way and it does my freaking head in that people think we can't do things just because we're autistic but don't be sitting there and telling me i can't do something watch me fly watch me soar and prove you're wrong if you're going to sit there and judge me because of my autism or judge someone else because they're autistic then you really need to get your head sorted out and maybe learn from that rather than expecting people to be okay with it. Yes, we may have weird behaviours. This is not weird. They are not weird. Well, I mean, I call them weird for myself because I can. But they're not weird to me because they're just part of my autism. It's called stimming, flapping, jumping, spinning, making noises. All ways of coping with the world around us. Please do not make us stop. Stimming helps us feel safe. It helps us to concentrate. It helps us survive the chaos around us and it's it's just gonna be there regardless you can't just sit there and say stop it stop it stop it because we're not gonna i mean well how, how would you feel if someone told you to stop something you can't help you'd want to smack them on the back already wouldn't you that's exactly what i feel like doing when people say i shouldn't be doing something i flap i jump i spin i meow it's all part of my autism it's not gonna go away i'm not ashamed of that just the same as, like many other autistic people, I love my routines and my structure and I get really pissed off when it gets changed and I have meltdowns. I hate change. And yes, a meltdown is different from a tantrum. Because a tantrum can be controlled. It's something you do when you want something and you're not getting it. It's like having a strop. But a, tan a meltdown, sorry, is different we don't control it it happens because we're either sensory overloaded and we're not managing a situation or we are struggling to express ourselves and do things in a way that helps us feel safe it's not different it may look the same as a tantrum but it's really not please don't judge us it's just the same as when you sit there and you're told to do something and you don't want to do it, so you have a hissy fit. That's a tantrum. A meltdown cannot be controlled. A meltdown is not something we want to do. It's how we show we're having a hard time. Now, that's part of autism. 
meltdowns, stimming, repetition, routines and structure are very important. And the fact that people need to start understanding that autism can be in girls too and it doesn't go away when you're an adult. It's never going to go away. Get a grip and start remembering that. Thank you.